Hey kids, welcome back. And uh, today we are doing the fastest ever tweak. Uh, this is the perfect hit registration video in a way that no one has done this before. So uh, it's very dead simple actually. Just simply restore your default settings on uh, NVIDIA control panel if you have that. Or AMD, you can chuck it maybe on Radeon Boost, that's all. And uh, with the MSI mode util, what you want to do is chuck all the PCIe root ports and lanes and hubs to prior high and everything to MSI mode. Um, especially if you have a modern computer. The older ones, I don't know if they'll work or not, but uh, it's pretty much not gonna ever die if you chuck them all on MSI mode. And this is uh, more ideal for games like Valorant, which really uh, seem to only work with MSI these days because of the way that uh, the engines have been geared towards on both CS2 and Valorant, and CS2's engine used to run better on line base, but it's now just kind of garbage. So uh, chuck these uh, drives usually onto low priority, uh, unless you have a really crappy Seagate SSHD or something like that, uh, and the HD audio controllers on low, um, you'd want all these things that you don't use on low, just leave the USB, the GPU, and the... Uh, the NVMe sometimes on high and sometimes on low is better. It depends on this one, but uh, yeah, it, it's really drive dependent. But usually start with low and then go up to high if it doesn't work that well. And uh, with the GPUs and all the Ethernets and Wi Fi, chuck them on high prior. MSI mode should work on nearly all of those. And uh, yeah, make sure you back up your PC and uh, disable things like uh, Intel Management Engine or AMD PSP. So that's pretty critical to disable. I don't think this one has PSP active because I've got an older version of this BIOS. So uh, also very dependent on your USB ports, right? Some of these will not work well and you want to have these USBs plugged in as close to the motherboard as possible, right? So have them as close to the board, not like up here, but down here, right? And uh, they usually work the best on USB 3. Uh, some of these boards have good 3.2 implementation. I don't know, this one is not really that great. I think the Intel ones work better on 3.2 uh, across the board for pretty much mouse input. And then keyboard, you chuck it on USB 3 or USB 2 is fine. Right? Whichever one works best for input lag and uh, reliability of your keystrokes. And now the GPU, actually you want the, the crappiest kind of 900 series GPU for the best hit rich. I don't know why these run so well, but they just do. Uh, the RTX series kind of doesn't work. And uh, what you want to have is also RGB, lots of RGB guys. This stuff helps you aim, right? I, it sounds stupid, but the more RGB you have, the easier it is to aim, right? And I have these little LEDs right, that you can plug into the USB slots and they will clean up the uh, the aim and the hit reg a little bit more, right, and you chuck them on the USB 2 especially and it will really, really help with the uh, reliability of signals on your motherboard. Uh, RAM, doesn't really matter what brand it is, they need to set to uh, 15, 19, 19, 39, and 2T or 1T doesn't matter so much. Uh, if you can get it running on anything, just get it running on anything. Gear 1 usually preferred, Gear 2 is okay, right? Uh, it just needs to be those timings. And it's DDR4 timings, so then if you double it and then put them to something like um, DDR5, it will be 30 or well, 29 or something like that. Uh, and then what? 29, 39, 39, and then uh, 79, something like that, right? That's DDR5 timings. And DDR3 would be 7, 9, 9, and 19. Uh, alternative timings are 11, 11, 11, and 22. Now, uh, these are the, the ideal and the best timings that I could personally find after these two years of messing around with memory. And uh, this is really strange because I can't find any other timings so far that work nearly as well as these. 15, 19, 19, 39 is able to give you perfect hit reg. The 11, 11, 11, 22 is kind of, uh, it's, it's okay. It's a bit better than the others that I used to recommend, but the, the best of the best of the best is 15, 19, 19, 39. And I don't know why, but it just works, right? Uh, CPU doesn't really matter. Uh, GPU kind of does matter. Uh, motherboard does matter a lot because um, you want to ideally have LEDs running along this edge here, running between the RAM, Right, I know a lot of Gigabyte X370s used to have that, and uh, there was a perfect hit reg board, which was the 
ASRock Extreme 6E, I think this was, yeah, Extreme 6 Wi-Fi or non-Wi-Fi, it doesn't matter, those are really good 10th gen boards, they are perfect reg on pretty much default RAM settings, it doesn't matter, right? And I was running just Samsung b whatever the heck, and it works, and it doesn't care about the timings, right? It's, some of these are really, really board dependent, and uh, yeah, this works across every setup that I've tried, 15, 19, 19, 39. Right? And you have to chuck these into the correct port, which gives you perfect hit reg. Yes, changing the USB ports on your computer changes your hit reg. And uh, you want to also get the, uh, the AMD Wi-Fi. The, I think it's the, uh, the RZ608 or something like that. And uh, the Intel ones just kind of suck. You don't want to try the AX200 once you've gone to that. And um, yeah, populate all your boards up with RGB. I know the um, the MSI boards are kind of crappy on this front, but the uh, the ASRock ones have usually a lot of these little headers. And uh, yeah, they're, they're a lot of fun to play with. So yeah, that, that's about that. Asus also has a lot of RGB, so the older B550 Asus boards are really ideal for this kind of setup. They have decent hit reg too. But yeah, uh, the only one that I know that works perfectly is the Z590 Extreme 60 uh, from ASRock. And uh, that, that's a deadly board. Uh, let's cut to the chase here. We'll get to the BIOS. We'll do the memory timings. Okay guys, when you're starting up the PC, you want to spam the delete key and you'll get into the BIOS screen like so. Now what you want to go to is uh, just find your DRAM frequency or something. Set this to whatever is stable. I recommend you start with 2133. Right, and with the Infinity Fabric, leave that on auto, that should work fine as is, right? But it's usually going to be half of your memory speed, uh, frequency that you can see here. Go to your timings and set it to 15, 19, 19, and 39, or however many things that are, are between 15 and the TRAS, right? Uh, CL and TRAS and all these in between should be 19. Right, and uh, you can do the alternate timings if you got a different speed set or a different bin of dies. And uh, yeah, this generally will work for Samsung uh, B die, Samsung C die, uh, Hynix DJ, CJR, and uh, this will work for Hynix M die. This will work for practically everything under the sun, right? Except for those really, really crappy maybe OEM sticks that you can't do anything with. But 15, 19, 19, 39 is nearly guaranteed to work on 2133 megahertz. Okay, so that's very, very loose timings. And uh, yeah, and once you've done that, you just go and save and exit, and there you go. Bada boom. Good to go. Right? And that is literally it. That's all you need to do. Uh, you can chuck on game mode. It's good. Uh, disable HPET, right, as always. And, um, yeah, GPU accelerator, whatever, it, it, it doesn't matter. These are the only two things, really, that matter, right? Leave your things on default, right? And then chuck everything on the, the correct RAM timing, and then after that, you should be sweet, right? Get the latest NVIDIA or AMD drivers, they all work these days, they're, they're fine. And then finally, what you want to finish off on is go and get this thing called Display Driver Uninstaller, DDU. Right, open this and uninstall all the graphics drivers that you don't use, right? On laptops, you don't want to uninstall the uh, the integrated graphics or otherwise you might get a black screen, but usually it's fine. Just do it, right? And then do clean and restart. And so you just go pop onto anything right here, even your audio, you want to do a fresh reinstall of those usually. Clean and shut down or clean and restart, these are the best ideas. And um, yeah, you go to the GPU, same thing here, I'm running NVIDIA, so obviously I'm going to uninstall my AMD drivers, and you press clean and restart, and it will do it, right? Or you press clean and do not restart if you're running on a desktop, and it works fine. Okay, so this will help you get that extra little bit of uh, responsiveness on your mouse, because unused drivers do cause a bit of extra lag. Just from what I've seen out of experience, every time you boot up the computer, it'll try to initialize drivers for things that aren't there. Uh, especially graphics drivers are the, the biggest offender, and sound drivers as well also have some issue. Now, um, I haven't installed creative drivers on this, so I don't really need to mess around with it. It's usually for older Windows installs, right? And make sure the MSI modes are set correctly, and then you can launch the game and really give it a shot. Right, I'm going to rest this up here so I can actually play. The desk is very messy. I'm in the middle of a rush hour in Christmas, trying to get PCs out the door, so you might understand that this is not exactly the ideal setup. Remember, if you're on a laptop, be careful that you know which one your CPU uses. 
right? Because if you're on AMD, you don't want to uninstall the integrated AMD graphics, and if you're on Intel, you don't want to uninstall the pass-through Intel graphics. So yeah, you want to close that if you've only got one thing to uninstall, right? I recommend you do all those because uh, if you've got an old install of Windows, chances are you got some old graphics card drivers still there. And here we're running just the Ethernet. Right now, what you'll see off the bat is this will have a lot better spray control. This will have a, a lot better aim, right? And it's going to be a far, far simpler, smoother, and easier experience. All right, and this is uh, this has been tested across uh, my my home rig, which I finally got to perfect kit rich after nearly two or three years, right, of just walking around the dock. And uh, now every rig that I build in my store leaves this store with perfect kit registration. Yeah, so none of those ghosting shots or phantom pass-through shots, right? And uh, there's one more thing that you can do to further improve this, which is you set the uh, the chipset speed or the um, the DMI link speed to PCIe 1x or uh, PCIe 3x, depending on whatever you have. Really, it, see if it's better, right? Sometimes it's better on PCIe 3. Sometimes it's usually it's better on PCIe 1 because you, you get too many signals going in and out, and it's going to cause a lot of pain in the ass, right? So get that sorted out, and uh, once you get all this done, this is what you want to expect, right? Perfect hit registration across the board, right? Server alert is not really too much of an issue anymore either. So skill issues aside, I know I'm just a gold player, and uh, barely worth any salt in this game. I'm at least hitting my shots, which I'm landing, right? Which wouldn't land before. Anyhow, let's get through warm-up, which is uh, usually the worst of the worst for hit reg. Right? And even there, I'm somehow leading, right? In this, uh, whatever lobby. I don't know, I don't really care too much. Shots land and shots hit, and that's all I care about. The headshots are clean, right? And uh, in this, you can also use raw input buffer. It does help on certain configs. I prefer to leave it off because it helps your spray control to leave it off, but uh, it does help aiming if you turn it on, right? So here you can turn this and uh, go for broke, really. Yeah. It depends on your graphics card. Some graphics cards, they don't like uh, helping your spray control much, right? Everything I'm saying sounds absolutely stupid, and it is really, really stupid that this stuff is true, in a sense. Right? But it's just the way it is, right? What can you do about it? Things are just the way they are. Riot Program's a garbage game. CS2 follows suit. I mean, uh, CSGO had much, much better hit reg than uh, Valorant. And now they've copied Valorant, so I don't know what they're trying to do there. Right? Sub tick is pretty much the same idea as what Valorant's got. So yeah, I, I don't really like using that too much. Uh, I'm just leaving this on pretty much default settings. Right. And it's working well even against these high ping players. Right? If I'm actually concentrating, it works a bit better. Know that this doesn't fix Beaker's advantage so much, right? Because if they're on a hundred ping and they swing you, they're still gonna get that silly advantage. But uh, it's gonna help you a lot with pretty much eliminating overswing, which is a thing if you have really, really bad memory timings and MSI mode prior. Right? So it just this is much, much more playable. Like I can actually get past ball three now with this kind of setup. Whereas before, it's like, oh, I need to do all these tweaks and, uh, you know, get the mouse, uh, 
as low input as I can, you know, oh, this and that, this and that. Oh yeah, I can show you 3.2, it's not going to be pretty. Well, this is going to be USB 3.2. Chances are it could be better. Could be worse. Uh, definitely much better. And there's a thing I found that you can uh, re-plug a USB and it decreases some input lag as well. Uh, which is kind of interesting. If you want to try this uh, outside of competitive, you can do it. Alright, but probably not the best idea to unplug your mouse during the game in case it doesn't reinitialize. The anti is a bit funny in this game. But... Yeah, there you go. Much more presentable. Yeah, 3.2 is recommended because it does have better shielding, but because of the better shielding there is slightly more input lag, so it's a bit of a trade-off at the end of the day. But if you get some little LED things and plug them into the USB 2, it will certainly eliminate most of that. And it's going to feel like a, you know, a crisp and clean game. Somehow, kind of like CSGO, you know? Back in the day. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, ping. That's good. The whole lobbies are like, uh, 40, 50 something. Come on. Let's see, turn this on now, should be much better. And uh, from what I see, the VLI and VIA USB hubs that you can buy, like the KVM that I'm using, uh, they actually work fairly well. For hit reg and aim, it doesn't actually do anything bad, which is very interesting. I thought it would, but it doesn't. It actually is slightly better that it combines into one port so that it doesn't fight over the USB controller. Especially that you're running into the USB 3.2, it seems to be a lot cleaner of a signal. Okay. Ah, oh, that's a rip rip. That's a big rip. Oh yeah, shots aim where you hit. And they hit where you win. Anyhow, if you liked, leave a like. If you hated it, let me know, right? I'm open to comments. Uh, unless you really start swearing in them, then I might delete it. But yeah, have fun. And uh, with your newfound skills, don't forget to share this video. And uh, maybe help one of your mates. Because I know this is, a, this is a huge problem and still is kind of a problem even after the, uh, the first video that I've made on it. Uh, hopefully that's helped you at least until now so you can finally fix it entirely. Right, and that is plugging it into the correct USB port, which leaves you to the least input lag and uh, the least hit reg issue. Right, and uh, yeah, finding the perfect motherboard for yourself. Hopefully, one with onboard LED. Right, near the memory slots, especially, will clean up the signals there. The supply rails, right, and going through the MOSFETs, they don't really take all of the uh, the spikes and the um, the radio and IR frequency spikes either. So the only way to fix those is chuck a lot of lights on them, and it will convert the uh, invisible spectra of uh, electrical noise into visible spectra. So that will just emit as visible light, colors, and, you know, fun times. Uh, RGB increases your responsiveness, maybe not your FPS. And that's really that, guys. See you guys next time. Drop a like, or I will drop your frames, and take care.